Hello everybody, this is Doug here with Fanatic Bike Co. I'm here with Joe, our service manager, and today we're going to be talking about the Push Industries HC97 compression damper for RockShox forks. Uh, this is something I've had in my fork for a couple months now, so I've had some ride time on it. And Joe here is going to tell you a little bit more about the technical details of it. So, oh, Joe? Totally. Yeah. Well, this thing is a nice little upgrade that you can put in most uh, RockShox forks yeah. with either an RCT3, Charger 2, mm -hmm. Charger 2.1 dampers. Mm -hmm. So we're talking like Boost Pike, mm -hmm. uh, Yari, Lyric, and Boxer. Boxer too. Wow. And Boxers. Cool. I know. I need one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically what we're doing. This is a Charger 2. Mm -hmm. We basically take the damper apart, mm -hmm. um, remove the compression assembly, mm -hmm. install the push compression assembly, um, and then you go ride. You go ride. So, so this, and this here is a RC2, a Charger 2 damper? It is. So this is what we took out from that, your fork. From my fork. Yeah. I should know what that looks like. Totally. Yeah. That's why I did it for you, though. He did it. Anyway, uh, so the, the push kit uh, doesn't have any compression shims, Okay. whereas the uh, previous version that you had in there does have compression shims. Hmm. Um, we took these out. Well, Push took them out. Right. We didn't do it, but Push took them out because the idea is that uh, without having shims in there, mm -hmm. it's easier to have a lot of oil flow through. So uh, when you're riding down the trail and you get in some rough sections, you, know, you hit a big root, whatever, mm -hmm. um, your fork should be able to more easily absorb all these impacts. Just kind of giving them overall more plush ride. It's kind of yeah, the goal. Basically. Yeah. Sweet. Totally. And I know one thing that people were saying about the previous, or not the previous, but the, the stock damper that comes in the Lyric, the Charger 2, is that there was a lack of mid-stroke support. Yeah. Um, yeah, that seemed to be a common thing. And I think Push really did a good job with HC97. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot more adjustability to this, mm -hmm. and that'll really help with mid-stroke support. About how much adjustability is on that? So each of your high and low speed compression knobs have 28 clicks of adjustment, wow. whereas uh, like the RC2 had four clicks of high speed compression mm -hmm. adjustment and 18 clicks of low speed. Interesting. So you can really fine tune the HC97 mm -hmm. uh, in comparison to the stock um, cartridge. So those were saying who they were, you know, they were in between clicks on the Charger 2. Uh, having 28 of each, definitely you can fine tune it to exactly how you want your fork to be, which is a pretty cool thing. Totally. Um, I've had, like I said, I've had this in my fork for a couple months now. And while it did take a little bit of time for me to set it up to how I want it, uh, honestly, off the bat, it just feels amazing. On the rougher stuff, the bike feels extremely planted and smooth and plush. And I never really had any issues with the Charger 2, but having the Push HC97 in there, I, can, I really feel like the fork is just on another level as far as traction and, and tunability. Um, another really cool thing about it is I can kind of tune it for whatever style of trail I'm riding. So, for example, if I'm riding more flowy, jump track, something like that, with more longer compressions, slower compressions, I'll actually add more low speed compression to keep the fork sitting a little bit higher on those compressions where I don't want to lose speed. And I think that's pretty cool. You go to Whistler or something like that, going to be doing a bunch of tech trails, just take it down a little bit. You know, you're going to ride A-line, take it up a little bit. Nice. So that's nice. a really cool feature. So we do have these available uh, as an upgrade or as a standalone product. Um, if you're playing around on the bike builder, you can pop one of these in your, in your uh, RockShox fork and really just have pretty much the best the best ride experience you can. And there's board. all sorts of other push things that you could put in your fork as well. Yep. You could put low friction wipers. Um, you can put the uh, the HC, the coil conversion kit. So mm -hmm. you could ACS3. The ACS3. Right. HC97, ACS3. A lot of a lot letters. Of, a lot of acronyms and <laughs> letters. Um, but you could have you could have push upgrades all the way all around your fork. Absolutely. They make a lot of really cool products. We see a lot of people throwing them on their bikes when they build bikes in the builder. and all I've heard is good things about them. So totally. definitely check them out. Like I said, we do have these available. Um, and if you have any questions about them, please, please reach out to us. Sales at fanaticbike.com. Rich, our customer service guy, will get you all set up. Great guy. And he is a great guy. And please subscribe to our, our channel. We love making these videos. And more subscribers equals more videos. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. That's pretty good. Good work, right? Doug. That was good. I think that was good. That was good. Okay.